Hi. I'm, I'm a little bit amazed to say that we have made it to day three of Tuska. It has been pretty damn intense, yet so weirdly enjoyable. Um, we have some great bands coming up. We're going to do a couple of interviews and take some footage of more Tuska festival vibes for you. Join us. Let's fucking go. from another sunny day of Tuska festival. We have another great Finnish band here with us, Edge of Haze or part of it. Welcome here Eero and Markus. Hello. Um, Hello. <laughs> thank you for the gig. You have amazing stage energy by the way. How, how was the gig for you guys? Thank you. Uh, that's, that's nice. Uh, nice words. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's been a long time dream to play at Tuska, and we've been here basically every summer since we were teens. Uh, we've grown up together as a band, you know, as guys. Uh, grown up together, and uh, it's it's like a bucket list thing uh, to play here. And the audience was just like fantastic. Such a great like vibe uh, coming from the audience throughout the gig, and yeah, just just awesome. <laughs> yeah. The energy was great. Yeah, do you want to add something? Yeah, definitely. Like with all the expectations from our like younger years and everything, they were still like succeeded. I don't know how it happened, but still, like everybody had so much fun on stage, and you kind of forgot that you're even doing your childhood dream right now. It was just a great gig. Well, I could definitely tell that. Um, tell us a little bit of yourself and what kind of music you make. Yeah. So, we are a Finnish, pretty much pr progressive metal band with some cinematic twists, orchestral yeah. elements, melodic stuff, harsh stuff. Um, kind of like movie music, but in a, in a heavy way. How would you put it? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great definition, yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing further to add, yeah, from Espo, Finland, um, and we've been doing this uh, for a few few years now, so yeah, years, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a lot of contrast in your music. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's a big thing for us, you know. Uh, the kind of uh, dramatic uh, elements, you know. Uh, so uh, we want to have that like uh, cinematic vibe. Uh, where this song can like transform from different places to another places. So, yeah, that's a, that's a big thing uh, for us, and always has been. So, yeah, um, I definitely agree. <laughs> yeah, you are so elaborate when you described your music, but could you could you narrow it down into describing your band with three words? Three words, any words? Edge and haze. <laughs> You have the edge, the hard stuff, and the haze, the smooth stuff. Yeah. Right? Beautiful. And the and. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story behind your band's name, by the way? Yeah, uh, it comes from um, yeah, it, it comes from an old song uh, we did back uh, back in like uh, 2010 or something, um, and we just thought that uh, edge, the edge of haze, like fitted the band's uh, uh, like musical style so well that we uh, that will be a like great band name so before that this is actually uh, like a pretty uh, secret information but we were called damage which is like a 
well, it's not so great. Yeah, it's not not so great of a name. So, so yeah, yeah, we changed into that, and uh, yeah, it's been like a yeah, how Marcus described it, it's like uh, the edge, like the harshness, yeah. and the haze, uh, the like the atmospheric and the cinematic um, style. So yeah, kind of like yin yang. Yeah, it describes you very well. Now yeah. that you said it, it totally makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, who writes your stuff and where do you drive influence from? Where do you draw it? Each of us writes in their own ways as well. I think on the new album uh, that's about to come out at some point, everybody has done at least one song. But we also definitely collaborate together. Usually it's somebody has an idea, they do a demo from it, and then if we want to take it further, we'll select the demo and start working it. But usually we'll do it together at that point. So there's an initial idea that it can pretty much come from anywhere, like seeing a cool movie or reading a book or, or whatever, just coming up with a crazy dream or, or something like that. And then, exactly. yeah, just working from there. Okay, well, what's the funniest or weirdest source of inspiration that eventually gave you guys a new song? Can you share a couple of background stories? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have a few... Um, Actually, well, uh, this this one hasn't been released yet, and it's not on the uh, next album, the upcoming album. Uh, it's it's a brand new demo. But uh, this spring, I was just like, uh, I I woke up and I I had a dream uh, uh, that I was, I, like, I composed a song and we were playing it on stage, yeah. and yeah, it was like uh, we were playing for like. Uh, a group of like they were like teddy bears, but really big, and <laughs> and, and somehow like they they all the like bears in the audience were singing this one melody, like uh, the, the, we weren't that's even tricky. playing that melody, but they were singing it to us, and that's why the, the melody stuck in my head, and I just woke up in my like undies and uh, went to the computer and just like <laughs> put it down there. So, yeah. That's coming sometime in the future, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for sharing tuned. that. That is, <laughs> yeah. that is very interesting. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> Do you have anything to? <laughs> I definitely can't top that, but I I would say that dreams are a nice source of inspiration always. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, do you hear a lot of melodies when you're dreaming? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Um, but but not so. I don't know. Uh, I have such weird dreams, but in, anyway. So, so it's like uh, it just like happens sometimes. This one I, I remember like vividly. But uh, usually, uh, if if I dream of a song uh, in my sleep, it, I don't remember it when I wake up, or I, I have it in my head for like two minutes, and yeah, then I go brush my teeth, and it's it's gone. <laughs> I know. I mean, do you do you vibe with me when I say like I have tons of different like five minutes recordings in my phone, like hee pee 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 pee. When I wake up, I just need to and uh, get it up. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And I think the best part of that is always what's happening in the background, because it's the most random things always. Like when you go back and search your memos, or like, where am I singing this? Like Why? it echoes like a bathroom, but there are a lot of people there, <laughs> and they're not speaking Finnish, but I'm in Finland. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you drew, could draw influence from that then as well. Yeah, always has to be like that. I, I have to say, I like regularly have dreams of melodies, and the only time that I remembered it, like after waking up, I was like, yes, this is finally the moment I remember something from a dream. I'm gonna like make a memo out of this or like put it down. Went back to sleep, woke up, and it was like the shittiest thing ever. Like it made no sense. And in the like, after that, I haven't even like, like bothered bother thinking about abort it. Abort mission. Yeah, in the dream, it was like, yes, I now have the best melody in the world. And waking up, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> so maybe it's good that we'll just forget them. Yeah. Okay. I I resonate on that as well, like hugely. But anyway, um, do you guys have any mm, weird or funny habits or routines you do before every gig? Oh, that that's a great question. Um, yeah, we usually we we have started stretching like 
properly uh, before every gig now. Uh, yes. Because, uh, yeah. Vocal coach approves. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> Come on, uh, because uh, we've been so like uh, in the past. Um, it it, it usually used to be like uh, we didn't uh, warm up at all. Maybe some warm up for the voice, but basically nothing. And then we are like wondering why we're so like uh, like the, our bodies are totally like uh, and ruined. Fuck the rear ruined. Yeah, yeah. And next Close broken and, stiff. and <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so so we, we, we've been doing like a full body stretching thing before stage, yeah. and usually doing some vocal warmers uh, with that uh, at the same time. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Approved. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pay them to say that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, some some like yeah, we usually do a gang shout. Yeah. yeah, and is there anything else? I don't know. Yeah, I was just talking about how the gang shout changes every time depending on a situation. It's like the theme of the day. Like, what was the funniest thing that went wrong during the sound check or something? Then we'll shout that and kind of get everybody's like atmosphere up. But cool. I wouldn't say that there are any like more deeper, like in depth uh, exercises or like that that we do. Everybody kind of keeps to their own, then we get together and try to like not think about it too much and remember to have fun, like not mm. be too deep in it. Yeah, yeah, like just to be present in the moment. Yeah, exactly. That is yeah. The, the way to really get the atmosphere and the vibe in you. The haze. The haze. And the end. <laughs> and the end. And. Yeah. The end especially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, uh, talking about uh, performing, what's the funniest song or the most entertaining song for you guys to perform live and why? Hmm. That probably changes. I'd say for myself, it's our the oldest song that we're currently playing live called Inside because it kind of tells a story about insanity. Like the, the singer that I am in that song pretty much goes insane and describes the process. And I really enjoy like diving into that and imagining it like I can't breathe and like I can't see and now I'm losing my thoughts and everything. Uh, it's always super fun uh, and there are a lot of those parts where I don't even play the guitar so I can do weird things with my hands and stuff like that. Really but get into the character so to say. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, it has to be inside for me as well. So Ooh. that's a really fun one, yeah. yeah. Because uh, for me too, yeah, I, I'm doing some like rolls and screams uh, throughout the song. So it's it's like, yeah, just like going totally insane. And and usually uh, it works with the audience as well. We have uh, usually like some mosh pits going on and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. And um, it's it's not too technical as well. So so it's, it's kind of like, a, you know, just like now you can party and have fun. And, yeah, you, know, you can it, let loose. Yeah, yeah, the hard stuff. Is as is behind you usually at that point when mm -hmm. when the song comes, yeah. So yeah, the, uh, it's a fun song to play, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Throw yourselves in and let go. So yeah. To say. I think that is one of the songs that really like translates to the audience as well. Like they seem to really vibe with that. Yeah. As well. Yeah, with going insane. Yeah, it's yeah, like, everybody ah! wants. To be, yeah, yeah. I know this feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is me. <laughs> yeah, but everybody wants to go insane once in a while, you know, yeah, go yeah, go yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's fun and yeah, uh, it was actually a lot of fun to play our new song uh, Endgame mm -hmm. live for the first time as well. <laughs> uh, it just came out. Uh, but it's it's a much more like technical song, so you have to be yeah. much more like focused throughout the yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, but it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I actually have one more question for all you guys, and that is, um, could you share some Edge of Hayes future plans and goals with us? Oh yeah, so um, yeah, we have this uh, new album that's gonna be released. Probably uh, this year, hopefully. Uh, we don't have a release date yet, uh, but it's it's, co it's coming. It's in the nearby future. Uh, and then we're playing uh, our first gig abroad, which is like uh, a big dream come true. Uh, wow. Will be, yeah. Uh, it's in this like uh, 
progressive metal festival in Germany called Euroblast. And we actually went there uh, just to party and have fun yeah. uh, back in 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like that's in a really special place in my heart, at, at least, because wow. it was probably the most fun that I've ever had in a single festival. And like to an extent where we were joking, like this would be the funniest place to play. Like if I could choose one place to play live, it could be this. But I actually didn't even imagine that it would be possible. So now that's the thing that I'm probably looking most forward to this year. Um, other than that, yeah, just uh, jamming together putting out those new demos, having weird dreams, and the end. <laughs> yeah, and dreaming of teddy bears. Yeah. Dreaming of teddy bears, yeah. That's, that's definitely the team of this interview. And, and. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and, and. <laughs> so, sounds exciting. And it's really seem, it, it seems like you guys are, like your hard work is paying off and your dreams are coming true and uh, I really hope to hear more from you guys in the future. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for the interview. And let's go and have an amazing rest of Tuska Sunday, shall we? Yes. Thank you one <laughs> more time. Bye bye. <laughs> I know I haven't been speaking a lot uh, during any of these vlogs, but we have been just sucking in the atmosphere and, and talking to people behind the camera, behind the scenes, and um, really been enjoying the moment. I, I have been so surprised over the kindness of people over here in this festival, uh, the crew, Everybody working uh, like under Tuska festival and also the partiers here like the people who just came here to enjoy the music they are just such a cute punch of music lovers that enjoy dressing up and enjoying the music really and and uh, sharing the love for music uh, it is just a few moments after we saw Ginger. I'm still trying to gather my brain from that. <laughs> um, it has been just, uh, such a nice day. The weather has been fantastic for the whole three days. We are all absolutely swimming in our own sweat. <laughs> are you with me, I mean, I'm on this one? Yeah, she says. And um, I just wanted to thank you guys to, uh, for following our day, following along and watching the interviews and sh seeing the Tuska environment. Um, I'm still going to finish, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish real soon because I'm, I'm really speechless <laughs> after this day and after Ginger's, Ginger's gig. I think. Yeah, let's just say thank you and wrap up and let's put some beautiful ginger content to conclude the day three of Tuska festival and to be like a grande finale for all of these three days. See ya, bye!